good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. Our guest today is an internationally renowned expert for eye problems, and he performs eye laser surgery on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr. Detlef Utter, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Pleasure. Dr. Uthoff, having your eyes lasered, that sounds scary to many people, and um, laser surgery for age-related farsightedness is still pretty new. From your point of view, do the benefits really outweigh the risks? Okay, I would say this, in this uh, uh, respect, at, at the moment we, we are talking about this new procedure, we can say, yes, it's advisable. It's advisable to have it done. All right, well, let's get into more detail then. Who can, this, who can get their eyes lasered for age-related farsightedness? Well, the best age is the beginning presbyopian patient. That means in the age of 45 to 60. Mm -hmm. Are there other um, criteria that do you, do you need to have especially healthy eyes? Can you be short in farsightedness on top of your age-related presbyopia? Well, you should not have any pathologies that means uh, your eye should be healthy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if you are short or farsighted on top, um, does that well, cause it, a problem? It depends on the procedure you get. The, uh, we call the procedure Presby marks, mm -hmm. which uh, is also uh, able to correct farsightedness, shortsightedness, and astigmatism as well. Mm -hmm as the presbyopia. So there are different procedures and you just have to get your eyes checked thoroughly basically before That's you right. start. All right, well, we've had many, many people write to us who want to know if they are eligible for this procedure. One of them was Fahad Ghazi from Iran. He's 60, he wears reading glasses, but he's also short-sighted. He's got a prescription of minus 2.75. Can he get his eyes lasered? Well, he can, but I would advise to this man that he should get an artificial lens in, your, in his eye. Why is that? Well, because he is in the age where he probably will develop cataract and the cataract surgery procedure is the same as the procedure to put artificial lens, multifocal lens in it. Mm -hmm. So cataract means your lens, your natural lens starts to cloud and from a certain age onwards, sort of, it's not worthwhile starting with the laser well, surgery? That's, okay, that's right. It's not worthwhile because uh, it doesn't make any sense to get a laser procedure before be, uh, when you, bega uh, you become a patient for a cataract surgery f two or five la uh, years later. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, if you decide to get laser surgery for age-related farsightedness, what are the possible risks there? Well, it's, uh, there are not many risks uh, today, because, uh, risk today, but we can have a little bit overcorrection or undercorrection. Mm -hmm. But these are the main problems which can arrive. Mm -hmm. What about infections or problems with night vision? Should not happen because those procedures are superficial procedures on the cornea. Mm -hmm. And does the result last a lifetime or will your eyesight deteriorate again? Well, it depends on the amount of correction you, are, you have done. Uh, if you need a further correction, then you can add a, an additional part of uh, diopters. So you can still uh, be on the same level that you have been when we started with so the you laser You might have surgery. to get surgery again in that That's case. That's right, yes. Dr. Udov, you've done lots of research on artificial lenses, lenses that are implanted into the eye. Um, how does that compare to eye laser surgery, especially when it comes to risks and effectiveness? What would you say? Well, generally spoken, the laser surgery is, is for the younger patients and uh, artificial lenses implanted in the eye are for elderly patients. Mm -hmm. Very spoken. What other criteria are there? Who can get such an artificial lens implanted? Actually, everyone, even younger patients. But uh, we start with laser surgery for correction, presbyopia in the age of 45 to 60, and afterwards we implant artificial lenses. Mm -hmm. And with the artificial lenses, it doesn't matter, again, if you're short or farsightedness, uh, have short or farsightedness, if you have astigmatism or any of these vision problems. No, that's no problem at all, because these lenses can fit everything. Mm -hmm. They fit short-sightedness, 
uh, farsightedness and presbyopia. Mm -hmm. How complicated and difficult is the operation? How long uh, until you see again properly? You can see again immediately after the operation. Uh, this kind of operation is one of the, the, the operations which are done very, very often in Germany, about 500,000 times. It's only a matter which lens we put in the eye. Mm -hmm. Well, what sort of lenses are there for age-related farsightedness? So we have uh, multifocal lenses, trifocal lenses. There are different systems, but the principle of all these lenses is the same. So um, multifocal, meaning you've got different areas for seeing close by objects and seeing far away objects. So how do these lenses work? They work like that. That's absolutely right, what mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. And with these operations, an operation is always a risk, but what specific risks are there when you get an artificial lens implanted into your eye? Again, uh, it doesn't happen very often. It's a very rare uh, complication, but you can get an infection and you can get an inflammation because it's an intraocular surgery. Meaning it, something is put into your eye sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? Well, then you have to treat it, okay. Mm -hmm. Your eye is not lost, but uh, we have, it's a, you need a real sharp treatment then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what about, you know, those who don't want to have surgery and uh, going for contact lenses? There are contact lenses, multifocal and bifocal contact lenses that help with age-related farsightedness. What, what's your view there? Would you recommend it? Well, considering the fact that you uh, have patients uh, within the age of 45 to 60, these patients all very often have dry eyes. We call it uh, Sicker syndrome. Mm -hmm. And those patients are not uh, suited for, for contact lenses. They, they will get problems with mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. So you can try it, of course, but you have to keep in mind that it's more difficult the older you get with the, to get along with contact lenses. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've talked about a few different methods today. Thank you very much for being our guest. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.